Hawks there with the latest from the sidelines. Guys, I got a chance to speak with Coach McDonald during halftime. Tie ball game here, guys, and Coach told me the second half is going to come down to a few plays. As a coach, you never know which plays it might be, but it always comes down to a couple plays here or there, and he just hopes his team will be on the right side of those plays. Guys, back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Saints get ready to start their drive. Ingram lines up in the backfield. They'll run it here. That's a tackle right near the 48. If you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. And Ingram lined up as the single back. Second and four. They'll run it with Mark Ingram. Flag is out. That picks up 11. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the base pass. Ends up picking up three yards. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Yeah, Tim, I'm not going to speculate. It looks like a lower body injury, and of course, as always, we hope it's not serious. After running it, it's second down. Thomas lined off in a single back formation. Out to the left. Thomas is taken down. When we were in practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. The Saints step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw it into some tight spots in the red zone. First and goal from the seven. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Always manage a football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Just a quick drop back. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Driving extra point is good. The Redskins ready to return the kick. Yeah, Brian does. It just puts the off. 
offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. It's third down coming up. Three-step drop. And he's going to be dropped for the sack. That's going to bring up fourth down after just a three-play series. When you put on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush, they're quick enough. They get there and sack the QB. Going to try his luck here. A foot race to the end zone. The 10, nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. teams in the NFL. It's all about hustle. The punt team showed none of it. That's why they gave up that punt return for a touchdown. The Saints line up for the extra point. The point after is good. Saints ready here for the kickoff. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 